so <laughs> I'm, I'm very sorry um i was just singing before i pressed the record button and that made me laugh so, you know one important thing is to make yourself laugh <laughs> So now that that's done with, <laughs> let's get to the subject of this video. So hey guys, this is Sarah. I am back with another video, maybe a little more late than what I usually, than when I usually, you know, put it out. But you know, your girl changed schedules and she's just trying to fit in a video per week for you guys. So here we go. Let's go. So as I announced on my Facebook page, you know, the one that is called Be Confident, Be Awkward. Um, I said I would I, that I would be talking about self-deprecation in this new video. So that's what we're going to address today and basically just try to see uh, how we can deal with self-deprecation, how we can deal with those negative inner voices that fill up our minds. So what is self-deprecation? Self-deprecation is basically belittling yourself or undervaluing yourself. So, you know, it's something that I think a lot of people go through at different levels. And I'm, def def I'm definitely one person that, you know, I feel like deals with it a lot. I mean, I have um, self-deprecating thoughts every day, uh, plenty of times uh, during the day. And, you know, the... the they, they just those voices never stop they just never go you know i'm kidding they do go away at some point and i'm going to address that uh in a few uh moments but yeah they, they, they come back a lot and over the before they were really like debilitating in the sense that they would prevent me from functioning well but i've learned over time how to you know deal with them and accept them and that's what i want to share with you guys today uh, that, you know, you don't have to um, always be in a state where your thoughts prevent you from doing what you want to do or doing like basic things during your day. So the first thing is to basically don't try to stop those thoughts and to uh, shut those inner voices uh, because basically it's kind of like a boomerang effect where you know you, you throw it really far away and then it comes right back at you and hits you really hard and then you're like struck by by its impact again it's not going to go away they're just those thoughts are just going to come back so don't try to stop them accept them for what they are which are they are thoughts thoughts and those thoughts um you know they are there and you just need to evaluate them and see how what what role they're they're playing in your life right now so basically it's to kind of take a step back and ask yourself how is telling myself that i'm ugly that i'm fat that i'm not good in that that, that i'm um that this person is better than me in x y or z how are those thoughts helping me in my everyday life are they contributing to my well-being are they helping me reach my goals my dreams uh, how what function are they playing are they preventing me from doing this or that and just you know kind of take an and a lot and kind of take an analytical uh, spin put an analytical spin on that I have trouble with that word and you know just take a step back and analyze those thoughts that can help create distance between you and those thoughts because you're kind of taking a third pe person um, stance to you know look at them and then you know this distanciating yourself in this way can help to lessen the emotional response that is connected to those thoughts so yeah basically evaluate those thoughts see if they're relevant to your well-being and you know from that point uh, that can help to even though those thoughts don't go away that can help to you know just uh, lessen the emotional response you have to them and so now that you have accepted those thoughts and you know uh, you, you know that you know they're they're not 
good for you well how do you go on with your life because it's it's really it's good to accept them but that's not enough to you know just be able to go uh, on with your life so the second thing that helps is to distract yourself basically i know that may sound like a basic advice but it it's really something that you know maybe we all do instinctively but we need to remind ourselves that we need to keep our mind busy and our mind off those thoughts because when you're not doing anything well that gives place to a lot of space for those thoughts to you know to just overwhelm you and keep coming back because there's not you there's nothing else going on and you all have all the time to just be focusing on that so <clears throat> sorry so yeah focus on doing things focus on pushing your putting your mind off um off those thoughts basically forget yourself for a moment and that can be by doing simple things like watching tv uh listening to music uh f talking to a friend i don't know no matter what it is which will be different for every person you need to find something that will put your mind off momentarily of those thoughts and um you know a great way to do that you you know it can be exercising to you know because your now your body is is you know the focus is on your your physio physiological um processes how to move your body and all that stuff so you know it kind of puts uh the mental processes on the back burner but it, it yeah so just finding things that can really help you uh be focused on something else it can be creating too it can be any little thing uh like i said that can help you do that of course i'm not you know advising you to uh get that relief to get that momentarily relief of those thoughts by drinking alcohol or taking drugs you know i'm talking about you know more healthy ways uh more uh more you know uh how can i say that ways that aren't going to hinder your everyday life uh to you know, to cope with those thoughts and finally well you know you've accepted those thoughts you've distracted yourself and at the end of the day well you know the, the distraction is going to fail at some point and you need to face those thoughts again so another the last trick tip that i would give at this point and this is something i do not always but it really helps is to create objectiveness because uh self-deprecation is a very biased process i mean you're the one evaluating yourself based on whatever criteria you chose to evaluate yourself on and i mean you're not being objective at all because there's all those emotions and all those uh subjective uh things that are like preventing you from thinking clearly about your value and all that stuff so you need to create objectiveness so how do you do that well for me I either mentally or actually write it down on the paper. What I'll do is that I'll write all the little things that I've achieved in the day or my successes, however you want to call it, but I'll just write what I have accomplished. And like I said, it can be little things like, uh, oh, I went for a walk today instead of staying inside all day. Oh, I drink a lot of water. Oh, I managed to, you know, write uh, this paragraph for an assignment. You know, whatever it is that you've done concretely, that there's proof of that you've done it, write it down and that can kind of bring back some positive elements to counterbalance all those negative elements. And, you know, this is not something that is going to magically make you more confident or make you more um assured about yourself uh, but the when you practice this on a daily basis and when you bring those elements of objectivity and of positivity in your life every day well that kind of creates a foundation for a more positive mindset on the long run so you know those are things that you know what those tricks and tips that i gave were all things that um you know you can put in practice daily and that won't necessarily um that don't represent a magic answer to your problems but on the long run it'll get easier and easier um 
you know for me it's like I like I said I have those thoughts every day but they really don't affect me as much as they did a few years back I mean I'll tell myself oh you're ugly or you're not good enough at this or look at your life you're not doing as much as this other person and you know some days it can affect me real a lot but most days it's just like well okay Sarah you've said you've told yourself all those negative thoughts now you know just stop it and just move on and do uh, other productive things with your time uh, because yeah the problem is when you get so um, overwhelmed by those thoughts it's paralyzing and then you don't do anything and then you feel even more bad because you didn't do anything and, th and then you just spiral into that negative uh, that negative pool of sadness and of self-deprecation and of depression and all that stuff so it's not worth to just linger on those thoughts and take them for uh, for as be as being the tr the truth it's not it's just it's biased and it's there's no objective way to say that someone has more or less value than another person that's not how it works so we just need to remind ourselves of that and just try to focus on how we can make our lives better for ourselves uh, even though we may feel like we're not valuable enough so yeah, basically that's what I want to say. I hope this video was, you know, that it, it helped someone and that it shed some light on uh, how to, you know, overcome uh, such a ne negative mindset. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do three things for me. Like, share, comment oh actually it will, it will be four and follow my page on facebook be confident be awkward and i'll see you guys very soon yeah let's get it let's you know let's do this we're, we're, we can do it yeah peace